stopped myself from doing it. From committing suicide. But it didn't only leave me alive. It also left two police officers dead. I killed them. Shot them both. This was not supposed to happen. Doctors testified that I was having a psychosis. Which means that my punishment won't be too hard for me to bear. I have to spend the rest of my life in a mental hospital. Where nurses and doctors are taking care of me. They let me finish my book. And uh, it has helped me. A lot. I wrote a happy ending. Just for myself. I feel better now. I am more at peace with myself. Even though I'm still stuck in this wheelchair. But, uh... I accept that now. I can never forgive myself for shooting those two officers, though. But I have so many supportive people around me now, so... I, I think I will be okay. Dr. Purnell is mentoring me and is watching my progress. I am lucky to have him. Sophie visits me every once in a while. On the doctor's letter, that is. They still think her visits are too destabilizing for me and that it hinders my progress. I keep on telling her how sorry I am for making her life miserable every time she's here. She, do, she just laughs a bit and tells me to stop being so silly. But I can see the damage I've done to her in her eyes every time she looks at me. She found a new friend. One who is there for her and treats her right. I'm happy for her. Though I'll miss the good moments we've had. Knowing that they'll never come back. I think this is a good time to close this book. It has changed my life forever. The end.